hello everyone welcome back to my channel again so we are discussing about the model question paper uh, set first for the ec engineering stream subject code is bmat ec301 we have discussed a variety of uh, problems from the four year series we have completed uh, the four year series also okay i have provided the link in the description box so you can go through the playlist and watch all the model question paper questions over there which are solved okay so let us solve today the question number 10 b the following table gives the heights of fathers x and sons of x so these are the heights of father and sons okay so it is mentioned here so as i earlier told you this is purely based on the formulas this chapter is purely based on formula so you can easily get 20 marks from this module okay so what you have to find in this find the lines of regression and hence calculate the coefficient of correlation okay first of all let's find uh, the coefficient of correlation there is a formula for it which you should remember okay and r is equal to summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar upon under root of sorry under root of summation of x minus x bar whole square then again into under root of y minus y bar whole square okay this is your formula okay so what are the parameters which you should calculate so you have to keep them in mind that is x minus x bar you have to calculate okay y minus y bar you have to calculate but in this problem we are not given with the y bar and x bar right so we have to calculate x bar first and y bar so you should make a box which parameters you need so you have to calculate them accordingly so i will make here the box like x minus x bar i have to calculate then y minus y bar i will calculate separately okay then i can uh, sum up those terms whatever we get so x minus x bar y minus y bar i i should calculate and also x minus x bar into y minus y bar i have to calculate this is in multiplication and x minus x bar whole square y minus y bar whole square i have to calculate okay so this is your x minus x bar whole square y minus y bar whole square okay these are the terms which you have to calculate now what is the x bar formula i can write it here x bar is equal to summation of x upon n which is equal to summation of x means uh, this one when you just sum up these terms 65 plus 66 plus 67 67 plus 68 69 you will get here the value as 5 44 upon 8 8 means number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so when you just sum up this that becomes your summation of x and n is your number of terms you will get here 68 as x bar value right i hope you are getting then y bar is equal to summation of y summation of y upon n so when you just sum up these y terms here you will get 552 which is equal to 552 upon 8 you will get 69 this is your x bar value y bar value is 69 okay up to this i hope this is clearly understood now we are supposed to calculate x minus x bar what is the x value 65 x bar value is 68 so 65 minus 68 you will get minus 3 66 minus 68 minus 2 67 minus 68 you will get minus 1 right 67 minus 68 minus 1 okay then 68 minus 68 is 0 69 minus 68 is 1 okay and 70 minus 68 is 2 and 72 minus 68 is 4 so this is the uh, x minus x bar values okay now y minus y bar similarly 67 minus 69 minus 2 i am just writing here now the directly values over here so that video will not get too long so minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 3 3 0 2 so these are the values of y minus y bar when you just uh, minus the subtract this 67 minus 69 68 minus 69 65 minus 69 that values i have written here okay now x minus x bar into y minus y bar means this into this you have to multiple three twos are six okay minus into minus plus two ones are two four ones are four one into one is one three into zero is zero three into one is three two into zero is zero four into two is eight this is your x minus x bar into y minus y bar value okay then x minus x bar whole square means this one you have to square it so three threes are 9 2 2s two are 4 1 1 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 and 4 square is 16 similarly y minus y bar square this one minus 2 square is 4 1 square is 1 4 square is 16 1 square is 1 3 square is 9 again 9 0 2 okay this is all about the uh, this table over 
here right now you, what you have to calculate is summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar is the summation right so let me sum it first so i can write here is x minus x bar summation 4 plus 2 is 6 7 7 minus 1 is uh, 6 6 minus 1 is 5 5 minus 2 is 3 3 minus 3 is 0 so you will get 0 here summation okay here also what you will get 3 plus 2 is 5 8 8 minus 1 is 7 7 minus 4 is 3 3 minus 3 is 0 you are again getting 0 here now x minus x bar y minus y bar when you just sum up 8 plus 3 is 11 12 16 plus 2 18 18 plus 6 is 24 so summation you are getting so similarly when you just sum up this term you will get 36 okay when you just sum up this term you will get 44 over here okay this is the summation now you have to just simply put these values in the uh, this uh, coefficient of correlation equation you will get the answer for coefficient of correlation okay now let me do it accordingly see here this is your r is equal to summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar we have calculated that one that is 24 24 upon under root of summation of x minus x bar whole square so see here x minus x bar whole square summation is 36 so 36 multiplied by under root of y minus y bar whole square y minus y bar whole square summation is 44 we can write it like this okay so when you just r is equal to when you just calculate this you will get 24 what is the under root of 36 that is 6 divided by under root of 44 so r is equal to this is a 6 1 6 4 is okay so you will get 4 upon under root 44 so let me calculate it in the calc so this is your 4 upon under root of 44 you will get answer as 0 0.60 so r is equal to 0 0.60 this is your coefficient of correlation now in the question there is another part that is lines of regression you have to calculate okay there are two types of uh, lines of regression one is x on y and another y, uh, another one is y on x so let's calculate it so uh, the regression line x on y it is given by the formula x minus x bar is equal to r times sigma x by sigma y y minus y bar okay so what is unknown in this particular formula sigma x and sigma y uh, rest of the terms we have calculated x minus x bar y minus y bar you can easily calculate it okay so sigma x i need to calculate so sigma for sigma x there is a formula under root of 1 upon n summation of x minus x bar whole square okay so what is the n value 1 upon 8 number of terms is 8 and summation of x minus x bar whole square see here x minus x bar whole square you have to uh, you have calculated already 36 is the summation i can write here into 36 okay you will get once you will calculate it you will get 2.1213 this is your sigma x value okay now you have to calculate sigma y there is also a formula that is under root of 1 by n summation of y minus y bar whole square so what is the n value is 8 same summation of y minus y bar see here y minus y bar whole square its summation you have to take so that is your 44 so sigma y when you, when you just uh, calculate it you will get 2.3452 this is your sigma y value okay on the side i have written this now you have to put down these values in this particular equation so x you just keep as it is just because you have to calculate the line uh, regression line x on y so there should be x and y should be there okay as variables so x minus x bar x bar we have calculated in the earlier stage that is 68 so 68 you can write which is equal to r r value you have already calculated here that is your 0 0.603 into sigma x value you have calculated here 2.1213 upon sigma y value already you have calculated here 2.3452 2.3452 into y minus y bar so y you just keep as it is minus y bar value already we have calculated 69 so this is your value for this okay now if i just uh, simplify it so x is equal to this one see here this is your 0 0.603 upon 2.3452 multiplied by 2.1213 which is equal to 0 0.54 0 0.5454 times y okay minus this 69 uh, i just multiply with this term okay minus times this one okay 0 0.554 into 
69 which is equal to 37 point 37 point 63 okay and this one minus 68 if i just shift on right hand side i will get plus 68 okay so i can write here 68 minus 37.63 which is equal to 30.37 okay so i can write here x this uh, y term i just shift on left hand side so i will get 0.5454y and this one i am getting here 30.37 that is your uh, 30.37 okay or you can write it as x minus 0.5454y okay minus 30 30.37 is equal to 0 this becomes your line of regression x on y now we have to calculate another line of regression that is y on x okay so the regression line regression line y on x is given by so the equation is y minus y bar totally opposite of that one see here here was x minus x bar here is y minus y bar r sigma y by sigma x here was sigma x by sigma y here you have to take sigma y by sigma x then here was y minus y bar here you have to take x minus x bar this is the difference in the formulas so y minus y bar is already 69 is equal to r value you have already calculated 0 0.603 see here 0 0.603 okay then sigma y already calculated here 2.3452 upon sigma x value 2.1213 into x minus x bar x bar value already 68 in the beginning itself okay see here 68 so when once you just calculate it you will get the equation as 0.66 x minus times y plus 23.6680 is equal to 0 this is your final equation for the regression line and i didn't uh, calculate this one just because i have shown you in the above stuff how to calculate this and uh, rearrange this and simplify it okay so you have to just simplify it so multiply multiplication of this into this okay and then this into this one so you will get uh, the equation in the, uh, in this particular format over here okay i hope this is clear to uh, you you people so make sure you will share it with your all friends over there okay who actually needed so we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching the video